You just came back from a trip uh, to Kiev, uh, and uh, there, of course, uh, fundamental freedoms are being uh, subverted uh, in horrible ways every day. Talk a little to me about um, your trip in the context of what it means for Ukrainians to be free. I, it took me a long time to write this book, and I tried to check myself, you know, going back to your point about listening to other people, being with other people. I took the manuscript with me three times to Ukraine because the Ukrainians were the ones who were talking about freedom. And the way they're talking about it, you know, it's not just they talk about it a lot, they're making a lot of sense. And one of the things which is really tangible is deoccupation. Like there's this Ukrainian word deoccupation, which they tend to say instead of liberation. And that really gets you thinking about freedom as positive because sure, you can deoccupy and it's important that the torture stops and the deportation stop and the kidnapping of children stops. But the word deoccupation reminds you that that is still just the beginning you have to clear the rubble and rebuild the playgrounds and the buses and the trains have to start running again. You know, for the Ukrainians, the trains reaching a town is a mark of freedom, which and we, you know, so we have this glamorous sense, like you get the, raw, the, the army out and you're free. And they're getting, you know, when they get the army out, the Russian army out, they still have to do other things. That's very helpful. And another thing that they've been very helpful with for me is thinking about the future. Because we get, we get caught up in like the time when we were innocent, when we were great, you know, when the when the founders were riding dinosaurs and everything was terrific. And um, whereas if there's freedom, it's in the future. You know, you have to know history and know tradition and draw lines from the past to the future. But if we're going to be free, it's going to be in the future by imagining lots of better futures than what we've got now. And when the Ukrainians talk about the Russians, it's often in terms of get the, the Russians got in the way of this future. I think that's also very helpful. And then the final thing, which I got from Zelensky in the beginning of the war, but comes from other people too, is a sense that like freedom, if freedom is positive in the sense that it's about good things and about commitments, then sometimes you can't run. Like if freedom is just about barriers and impulses and like and, and bad things, then you can always run. But if freedom is about caring about certain things, then over time as you make decisions and become a certain kind of person with character, then being a free person sometimes means you can't run. And that's been very helpful for me as an American, um, partly as I remember back to February 2022, when so many of our fellow Americans assumed that the Ukrainians would run. And I think that, you know, that didn't say much about them, but it maybe said something about us. And that's one of the reasons that I ended up writing the book the way that I did. I mean, li life is, you know, a wonderful and painful and tragic and extraordinary. But, you know, the fact is that for in the United States, stasis for many feels like an option, where in Ukraine, it really isn't, right? The choices are stark, and the reason they have to keep fighting is that they can see the difference between, you know, between fighting and occupation in a way which is not clear to us. That's it. But it's also true that it's not just that occupation is so terrible, it's that they, they, they tend to have an imagination about how things could be much better than they are. And that's, you know, that's something that I'd like to have more of here. Because yes, yeah, stasis can seem like an option, but you know, if you try stasis for too long, it, it becomes something else, right? It becomes fermentation, it becomes rot, it becomes a lack of imagination, um, and things start to spiral downwards. <laughs> <laughs>